Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Dollar General Optimus Prime. Uh, as I said, I got this at Dollar General. Uh, it was $5. Uh, couldn't pass it up. The transformation reminds me a lot of the G1 Transformers. Uh, very simplistic, uh, but it's a decent figure, uh, especially for the price. Considering uh, most Transformers are in the $12 to $15 range, sometimes even $17 and up, um, for just a regular Transformer, uh, this five dollars for this transformer wasn't a bad price uh, as i said this is optimus prime and let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging real quick let's go ahead and back it up there we go all right so we got optimus here uh and then his truck mode there autobot optimus prime hasbro uh ages six and up transformers very nice got a nice little clamshell packaging there uh heroic autobot leader uh this is an authentic hasbro transformer it's not some cheap knockoff uh it is authentic uh apparently it takes four steps to transform so let's go ahead and move that to the side and let's go over articulation for optimus go ahead and zoom back in all right uh his head does rotate all the way around his arms oop, pop off <laughs> oh no Hold tight a second, guys. All right, so I'm having an issue here with getting his arm back on. There we go. All right, so if that happens, what you want to do is come at it from the back. And push it on. Uh, this was easier off camera. Hold tight a second, guys. All right, got it. All right, so you kind of got to angle it up and pop it on uh, from the back. Uh, but his arms do go all the way around. They can lift up about that far. And that's on both sides. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, Part of his transformation is in his shoulders. Uh, his legs go up to there. And they go back about that far. A bend at the knee, another ball joint. And that's also part of the transformation is the knee joint. Um, yeah, that's about it for articulation. Now let's go into his transformation mode. Uh, very simplistic transformation. Four steps, okay. So take the backpack, bring it out and up. So you can see there, bring the arms up like that. and bring them together just like that all right and then rotate the leg or take the legs and pop them into place Make sure they get over that latch. Uh, but there's Optimus Prime in his truck mode. 
as you can see very simplistic uh, you can definitely make them out from underneath uh, the wheels let me aim this down a little bit the wheels do move they do spin uh, very simplistic uh, paint job uh, mainly red and blue uh, got the Autobot logo there but yeah pretty nice a really great buy for the price I have to say uh, in a time when Transformers figures are very expensive it's nice to find some that have decent articulation decent transformation decent robot mode and don't cost an arm and a leg now to transform him back pop up the legs bring them back around okay take the arms bring them around and the backpack it's on a hinge let me zoom out a bit it's on an on a hinge so bring it down uh, I was talking to caveman from caveman reviews about this the other day uh, shortly after I got it um, and he asked me if it was any good and it is for the price it is a very good figure um, comparison size comparison uh, I had just done a review on cloud raker and wingspan from the transformers generations line and here is cloud raker next to Op optimus prime uh, and let's go ahead for comparison we'll bring in twinferno from the headmaster titans return line uh, as you can see uh, the scale isn't too bad um, i would imagine twinferno to be a little bit bigger than optimus i don't know if he is or not in the comics or whatever uh, but since he's a two-headed two-headed dragon i would imagine that twinferno is larger than optimus prime and since cloud raker is a jet i would imagine him to be slightly smaller than optimus but not too much smaller so there you have it guys Dollar General, I want to say exclusive, Optimus Prime. You can pick them up for about $5. Uh, when I picked him up, I also picked up Megatron, which I'll be doing a review on next. Uh, they also had... Uh, Starscream in there. Uh, I did not pick up Starscream. Uh, I've never really been much of a Starscream fan. John, my former co-host, who's now over on The Logic, uh, he's a big Starscream fan. So, John, if you're watching this, head into Dollar General, pick you up a $5 Starscream figure. Pretty good transformation for the price. That'll do it for today, guys. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, Make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.